Hi guys, so today I am just continuing on working on this project that I have mentioned a little bit about and I've done another video on another character. So today I'm just going to work on the next protagonist. So the process that I'm using for today is pretty much exactly the same as what I did for Adam. And that's where I'm just putting everything down that I've had in my head for her. And I'm not focusing on one element of her character, but I'm focusing on everything from her face and her clothing to the way that her body's gonna look, from her silhouette. So it's just very all-inclusive and just putting this character down in a visual form and being able to work from that. So at the beginning of this video, I did have some other faces that were quite a bit different from the one that I ended up deciding on and I decided to go ahead and keep those up in the left hand corner. That way I could go ahead and see what parts were not working about those and that way I can stay true to what I did want out of it and it's just kind of easier to see what I've already tried and that helps me stay specific to what I do want and what I did like out of that group of them. So this character, what she actually does is she is an aircraft pilot. So that's something that she will be wearing very specific type of clothing for. And that's something that I really wanted to look up a lot of reference at and see what types of clothing pilots used to wear. And just so she looks like she belongs as a pilot and it's very clear and functional. And since she will be designed for a project where there's going to be a lot of different characters, and worlds and environments that I need to design. Um, I made sure that I had what I have drawn out and what I have decided on open so that I could look at reference off of what I've already figured out. So it's very important that they all look very together. I want all of my characters to look like they're from the same kind of community and the same world. So I needed to look at all the things that I have already figured out and so I could have similar touches to it. I like to look for lots of different little details or shapes that are prominent in the way that I have been designing them and include those in each of the characters. That way they have these little details that lead back to the other characters and they just really flow together. For her, I wanted to have these little patches and sections of her clothing that were stitched together, which is very similar to some of the areas on Adam's clothing where they're really stitched back together and they have that same kind of quality to them and by including those sort of details between the two they really look like they're in the same kind of environment. I loved looking up all the different references for clothing for her as well as the other character that I have designed a little bit Adam but it's just really really helpful to kind of look at the different styles that have already existed and see the details in the clothing and how they fold and how it interacts with the body and that's you know very important for being able to, des to design convincing clothing. I've been mostly looking at fashion from the 1940s and this story will not take place during the 40s at all. It's definitely not something that's grounded in any actual era that exists but I do find it really helpful to be able to draw from one specific time era. It helps me to be able to draw the fashion back onto itself from all the different characters. That way they look like they could have realistically existed. And I like that element to it where I can really base them off of something that does exist. So they look a little bit familiar, but give them a little bit more of a twist that's my own. And I really like that look where it's not quite something that's already been done, but it's still a little bit familiar and it still rings true. In the end, I think the second design for outfit is my favorite so far. I do really like the shapes that I could create with the collar for the other one and how dramatic I can make that. But I think that I like the, the scarf where it feels a little bit less formal and it's a lot more organic and a little bit more flowy. And I think that that's something that I want to bring more into her character. So I think that that's something that I'll go a little bit more with that way where she has this nice giant scarf around her neck and it just adds a little bit more bulk, but it also makes it feel a little bit lighter and more flowing, at least for me. When I'm designing characters, I usually end up focusing on a single character and then really figuring that one out and getting the design the way I want it and then I move on to the next character. But for this one, I decided that I wanted to do it a little bit differently. I decided that I really wanted to develop both this character and Adam kind of at the same time. They're both going to be 
the protagonists of the story equally, so I wanted to make sure that their designs really tied together very strongly. Um, they definitely have a very strong bond in the story, so I need them to be able to be equally as well designed, I guess. I mean, I want all of my characters to be well designed, obviously, but as I'm working on them at the same time, in tandem, I'm able to kind of influence each other a little bit better, and that's something that I really want to come through in the story. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all the future art videos. And until then, I will see you at my next one.